Hi guys, welcome to day three of our buzzing handout, our food handouts. As you can see behind me here in the truck, we've got all our goodies ready and we're just gonna go and get uh, 150 meals. And then we're gonna head off. Uh, Mike's kindly gonna drive us all around like he has been doing and uh, Dave's with us to get the shots on camera because while I'm busy doing my bit and Bo's doing her bit, then uh, we're gonna be busy. So thank you very much to everybody that's helped us support this uh, very worthwhile cause. It's kind of like, how do I say it? It's like, it's nice, but it's not nice. It's nice that you support us, but it's not nice of what we're doing because people are starving out here, sadly. But anyway, the fact is we're out there today. Day three, fantastic. I'll keep you updated. Stay tuned, watch the videos, and then I will uh, update you when we finish. But nice thing is it's cloudy today, and I've even got my hat before you start nagging me. All right, I've got all that, so we're sorted. All right, guys, so thank you very much to everyone that's helped support this, and uh, we'll keep you updated. We're going to get the meals, and we're going to head off. Catch you in a bit. So we're putting all the meals together, 150 meals to start with. And uh, the gang are here working, busy, been working all morning, bless him. And uh, we're supporting like a little local shop here. And uh, they're busy around the back doing their thing. Look at that bad boy. Oh, oh look at that. Oh, it's okay, maybe All right. Lovely lady, <laughs> lovely lady, cooks all our food for us. <laughs> Man, that's heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. And you know what's hard? Is you drive past this every day and we don't even know these people are here and it look what they're living in. Unbelievable. One of the other things that we've been doing is I've sent some money back up north to my missus um, and she's been handing out food to a lot of the local uh, elderly people in uh, our village in Dankrian just outside of Korat uh, where they literally is also have uh, very very little uh, don't have a lot of money or any food so uh, we're trying to do the best we can for everybody. Okay so uh, we're being taken into an area by a gentleman that said he knows where a lot of people are that have nothing. I'm not really sure exactly what we're walking into to be fair, but uh, I have to say it doesn't look good. And uh, up here, as you're gonna see in a second, are a lot of families that are in need of support. Oh, I have to say this is very hard. This is just very, very hard. All right, so let's see what, uh, Somebody car, body car. Let's see what's here. I really don't know what to say. I'm so sorry. Somebody car, somebody car, what the car, somebody car, what the car, what the jar. Okay. Oh. I really don't know what to make of this. I'm sorry. I'm a bit lost for words here. All right, let's go hand some food out. Okay, 
Here we are guys, you can see what we're doing. Basically, we're about 10 kilometers now outside of Pattaya in this village. Um, I don't want to use the word that they say it's a slum, but unfortunately that's what they class it as, which is really devastating to think that we have these people living in these conditions. But anyway, the point being, we've got all the food out now. So this gentleman here is going to help us with the, uh, with the people. We're going to give everybody a meal and then we're going to make packs together. So each family here gets the pack that we've done. What I will say is that now we found this place, uh, as you know, the previous two times we've been out, we haven't found this, but now we know where we are, we'll come back here. Because uh, clearly you can see there's a huge community here and they uh, really don't have a lot. So uh, anyway, let's get cracking. You know, what's really incredible is that we're here doing this and literally I can throw a stone and hit a housing estate where the houses there are worth 15 to 20 million baht. That's, that's the reality of what we're doing. <laughs> hey guys, uh, I'm feeling, um, got to be honest with you, I'm feeling quite emotional at the moment. It's quite distressing that we're here in this village. You can see behind me now all the people there are starting to line up for their food. And uh, it really is, it's just incredible. Uh, I don't know how to describe how I'm feeling other than I'm feeling very sad and very emotional that these poor people are living like this. I mean, it's, it's incredible. So, uh, three weeks we've been doing this and we found the place that really, I suppose, I was looking for in all honesty because this is, you know, you can see down the back, if I turn around, see down there, you know, the, these people really genuinely just don't have a lot. So, uh, thank you guys. Thank you so much for all your support. It's been um, much appreciated. So let's give this food out to these people. Mm. You know. 
Okay guys, so that brings us to the end of day three. Um, from a personal point of view, it's been very emotional for me today, I've got to be honest. There's a lot of things that we take for granted that suddenly when you come into different environments, you realize how lucky we really are. Particularly today, finding the, uh, that area that we sadly called the slum. Um, unbelievable. And, and again, behind me here, you know, behind me here, this is just, it's just incredible. You know, you would just drive past these places without the slightest idea of what is behind these, these, uh, these places that we're driving past. So uh, I want to say a heartfelt thank you to everybody, all of you that have, have sent in your donations and supported this. I can't thank you enough. You've been incredible. I really am wholeheartedly, genuinely thankful to everything you've done. I want to say a thank you to Mike, Mike's and, and Dave. They've been out all week going and buying the supplies and uh, sorting out all the bags and everything for us so we can come and do this as quickly as what we've done today. Uh, I want to say thank you to Den and to Bo. They've been fantastic in their support today, helping us, giving out the food, etc., to the to the Thai people. And uh, again, thank you to you guys for supporting this. It's been an, an incredible journey, and, and I hope that this will continue. You know, even when things reopen, that's not the end of it. You know, these people here clearly are not re uh, reliant on the industry that we're in, and uh, certainly not reliant on the tourism industry. So I, I think, really, for me personally, like I've been doing with the Bankrou Jar with the orphanage. As that will continue, maybe we can do this as well because it really just is incredible what people are having to deal with that you and I just tend to forget. All right, guys, that's it for me. So thank you very much indeed for all your support. It really is generally heartfelt and much appreciated. And uh, next week we'll be out again. We're going to come back to these same places because I think it had a huge impact very, very quickly and, it's, and it solved a lot of problems very, very quickly. So I want to come back here. All right, that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Thank you ever so much and thank you so much for all your support.